guys, Victoria here and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I take Sejarah notes on the 4 Tamadun, which you are already very familiar with, I'm sure. I hope you guys will enjoy this video and I hope this video gives you an insight on one of the ways which I take Sejarah notes. Before we actually take notes on the Chiri Chiri for the each specific Tamadun, it is also important to first know the general Chiri Chiri of Tamadun Awa Manusia. So I'm currently taking notes on that. The meaning of Tamadun is a very commonly asked question whether in paper 2 or in essay and it will give you marks in essay so definitely take note of the meaning of Tamadun. Also I have an acronym to memorize Chiri Chiri Tamadun Awa Manusia and it's TOPKAST, T-O-P-K-A-S-T as you can see. Um, this morning when I reviewed my Sejarah notes to make this video, I could recall this memory so I could recall this acronym so I decided to share this acronym with you guys in case you find it helpful. Topcast doesn't actually mean anything but you know I could remember that acronym. Like T stands for Petempatan Kekal, O for Kehidupan Berorganisasi and yeah you guys know how this works right. Okay so I also went ahead and circled each letter which I make acronyms for and you can pause it here if you want to understand how I make the acronym. So now that we have already done the Chiri Chiri for Tamadun Awa Manusia, we can now proceed into the specific Chiri Chiri for Tamadun Mesir Purba Mesopotamia, Indus and Huang Ho. I decided to make a table for this because it is easier to compile all the information and it's also easier to review it this way so yeah I use a table and as you can see before I began taking notes I actually wrote down the chronic thought cast again just so I can remember it and so I begin actually taking the notes I write down Pertempatan Kekau first because it is the first Chiri and then I just went ahead and picked out all the important information from the text which I was taking notes from and it's Pusat Kota, Tembok Kota and all that. Like really take note of all these keywords because they will contribute, like each keyword contributes one mark in the essay so yeah. I did the same for Mesir, Indus and Huang Ho. Now that we are done with Pertempatan Kekau, I draw a line and now we are moving on to O which stands for Organisasi Social. So I decided to use a different colour pen just to make it easier to differentiate between like each Chiri Chiri. So I am using a purple pen now and I am just continuing the process of picking out important information from the text. When taking my notes, I like to use the shortest way possible. So as you can see under Organisasi Social for Mesopotamia, instead of writing done or whatever, I just write a plus. And then for Organisasi Social of Mesir, Dibantu Ole Bangsawan, instead of writing Ole, I like to write a small letter O and just a dash. You can create stuff like that. 
to save yourself some time. I'm done with system pemerintahan and I'm moving on to the next section and I made sure to use a different color pen again I'm using a blue color pen this time just so it's easier to differentiate between the information Here you can see me just flipping the notebook to the next page and drawing a new table to write the same piece of information again. We are still doing on Chiri Chiri Tamadun. I just didn't manage to fit in all the information in one paper. So if you are planning to do this on your own, then I would definitely suggest that you use a bigger piece of paper just so you can fit in all the information in one page. It's not nice to have like two tables for the same piece of information in my opinion so yeah if i could change one thing then i would definitely have used a bigger paper So that's it for this little Sajara note taking session. I decided to use a table for this particular bit of information but using a table is not the only way to take Sajara notes and I don't always use a table. I sometimes use a mind map or a Cornell method depending on the information that I'm taking notes on but I hope that you guys have learned something from this video. If you think that I should do more of this type of um, videos, just note taking videos then let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and bye-bye.